and 111 is Tim Burton's Batman. This is my favorite movie for a while as a kid, and I remember once watching it four times in one weekend. It doesn't really compare to most of Christopher Nolan's new Bat flicks, but it's a very different breed altogether, and possibly more attuned to the comic book for tone and atmosphere. Michael Keaton is a very good Batman, which surprised a lot of people at the time, but the movie is owned wholesale by Jack Nicholson chewing the scenery as the Joker. I make art until someone dies. See? <laughs> I am the world's first fully functioning homicidal artist. What do you want? My face on the one dollar bill. A lot of critics complain that the movie is more an origin story of the villain and sidelines the hero a bit, but today in the age of endless superhero origin story reboots, I actually really appreciate this separation from the norm, and let's face it, Joker's kind of a more interesting character than Batman anyways. The film isn't action packed, Burton is clearly more interested in just seeing these two personalities duke it out rather than actual fistfights. But it's engaging throughout, and Danny Elfman's bombastic score is one of the very finest ever written. There's been 10 billion superhero flicks since this one paved the way, but I still think it's one of the best the genre ever got. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it. <laughs> Never rub another man's rhubarb. 